Why, hello there. Hi. Guess where we're at today? Hmm. We're in the vicinity of a bird. <laughs> we're at Disney Springs. There's two Toby Springs over there. Uh huh. So, what are we here for today? We're gonna do something a little scary, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little scary and a little fun at the same time. Oh, there it is. Way up, we're gonna be high. If you like us on Facebook, you might have seen a while back when we hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. I said that Chelsea in a celebration had agreed to do the characters in flight aerophile helium balloon here at Disney Springs, which we've never done. And I've mentioned this kind of briefly in some other vlogs and stuff like that, but I'm a little, not a little, I'm a lot of kind of scared of heights. I'm trying to gain ownership and control it kind of thing, so I'm kind of forcing myself to do this kind of stuff. I mean, we like to travel. I have to get on planes and stuff like that, and I still feel uneasy about that. So I'm trying to take baby steps in conquering this. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm a little nervous, but I think once we're up there, it's gonna be really, really great. This is cool, they got a compass rose that the balloon park's on. Print it all out here, it's east. Nice view already. And aboard we go. steps up. Oh, it does shake as you're walking. <laughs> it's a lot of ropes and wires and cables. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. There's a life preserver right there. Yeah. Hopefully the rope's long enough they can throw it to me <laughs> from up there. So the blue, the blue on the balloon is just pretty nice, but I miss when it was like the yellowish red and well, they had like the character silhouettes yeah. on it. That was cool. Wasn't that it? was really cool. I miss that. And um, they did like a circus one. Which I also liked better than the blue. The blue kind of just blends into the sky. Sorry, I got cut off with the little safety spiel. Everyone has to hold on to a handrail as we're, you take off because it does move around quite a bit. We're moving. We're, we're going up right now. <laughs> Do I need to take my hat off? Is it going to fly off? I'm scared. It's a little bumpy, not gonna lie. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not gonna look down the hole. I'm gonna look yeah, out. That's a good idea. I'm gonna look out, forward. Now we're all the way at the top. I could put the wrist strap on here. We're it on is, the, it's bumpy. We're at the top, it's a little windy. Ooh, there's a really nice golf course over there. That's over at the uh, Marriott uh, World Center, I believe. Oh, look at the, look at the Disney Springs yeah, water. Enough looking at our ugly mugs. <laughs> Let's see what we can see here. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful Disney Springs water. Oh, there's the Lego Dragon over oh, there. That's cool. So we look around, we can see like fun spot and stuff off in the distance, Old Town, <laughs> all that jazz. Of, I mean, we can see everything. There's the, uh, <clears throat> the Orlando Eye over there. And then we look back. I don't know how well you guys can see it. The Contemporary is right through there. I can see that okay. there. I uh, can see the Gaylord Palm over there. It's a little hard to see because we're on the side closest to Disney Springs, but we are starting to spin back towards this way now. What do you think? <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a great way to see the property. I'm pretending that I'm just on a really tall building right now, that I'm not hovering. It works. But, um, no, it's it's actually it's a little bit it's a little bit calmer once you're actually stopped at the top, so that's good. Yeah. There's Tower of Terror right there. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in. It's kind of hard to see up here because I got the sun shining right in my eyes here, so I can't actually see the screen of the camera to tell what I'm pointing at here. Okay, so Tower of Terror is right over there, right there. Then there's Swan and Dolphin. Right there. And there's Epcot, Spaceship Earth. And then looking back over this way, I can see the top of the Grand Floridian, but it's kind of hard to see because it's off in the distance. Um, oh, I can see Lake Buena Vista Golf Course, which is my favorite Disney golf course. I played this one, Palm and Magnolia. Check it out. There's a Mickey bunker. Oh, and we're going to head down. We're going down. Here comes a tug. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm really zoomed in on your face. Oh, boy. See the boat? So, yeah, here in the middle is just kind of like open, and you can just look straight down to the water or the landing platform that we left from. So, really, if you're on this side, I mean, you can see everything of Disney Springs in really great detail. Like, so we have Cirque du Soleil, uh, we have 
the, what's going to be the new NBA restaurant and shops and all that. There's uh, Splitsville right there. And the AMC theaters and then of course all the shops. And Planet Hollywood shop, Coke store. Back through and then on over to the marketplace. So you can see the Disney Spring stuff really well. The yeah. other stuff at, at Disney, you can see off in the distance, but it's not. I thought you actually be able to see it a little bit better. Well, I mean, I can see big things. Like I can see Spaceship Earth. Um, um, sorry, it started crickling. The ride down is a lot smoother than the ride up. Like significantly. Like I didn't even realize we were going down. Yeah. It was, but Way look, smooth. we're so close. Going down, Yay. back down the Compass Rose landing platform, and everyone else waits to get aboard for their turn <laughs> on board characters in flight. We're basically done here. As you can see, we're coming. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's like the winch we're reeling us back in. Thanks, winch, for not letting us down. Or well, you, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, thanks for letting us down. Thanks for not <laughs> not shrewding it. Just a little bump. Not okay. bad. That was and we're back on the ground. Yay! Alright, we're done here. Let's go talk about it. <laughs> Look at what we just did. I'm calm down now and I'm feeling successful. See? Steady as a rock. Yeah, that's I fly with this hand. <laughs> but you're always like this. This was me before we got on. <laughs> the Trans Global Airways. Luxury flights worldwide. Right next to the luxury flight we just took. But we were all wrapped up. Yeah. That was quick. I mean, how long would you think we were up there? Three minutes. Yeah. Felt like, I mean, it was quick. Including prep time? <laughs> I mean, including up and down time. So, I know probably the biggest question people will have with this, if you're afraid of heights, how will you be? Okay. If you're afraid of heights. Yes. If you are trying to get over your fear of heights, I think this is a safe, controlled way of trying to do that. So it was good for someone like me where I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. However, if you're not really interested in doing that, if you're scared of height and um, you're not really trying to change that or work on that, I don't really recommend this because I was, I was pretty scared up there. And by scared, I mean there was never a time where I felt like, you know, something was happening. It was as smooth as it could be and, you know, everything was very professional and, and everything like that. But I'm just saying I, I needed some time to kind of like grasp where I was at and I needed some time to like calm and by the time that happened, um, it was already, it was while we were in our descent. These are my takeaways from it. Number one, I think the biggest thing with, as far as the height is that it feels, um, I don't want to say unstable, but you can feel that there's nothing under you, yeah. if that makes sense. When you step, it's, it's not like hollow, but it it don't feel solid. No. Let me put it that way. It didn't feel like it's about to fall apart. I don't want to give you that impression at all. No, <laughs> it felt like you were in the air. If you're trying to conquer your fears, this would be a good starter yeah. for that. But if you have fears, I wouldn't do this. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I think you just have to kind of think about where you're at and, and kind of go from there. I think you do get some good views. You can see some of like the big main things, but mostly it gives you a really good view of Disney Springs. I thought you would go up and then maybe once you got to the top, like you can walk around or like it would even spin itself. Yeah. And it did, it stayed in one position. So if you're the first people to go in, you'll go on the other side and you'll get the view of, of all of Disney because when you're here at Disney Springs, like you can see the, the lake and there's Saratoga and the balloons up in the air. So all of Disney is that direction. Everything's that way as we showed you. So then yeah. Disney Springs is back here. So you can see, like you said, Disney Springs, if you're on this side, you can see Disney Springs really, really well. You can see stuff around Orlando well, but as yeah. far as seeing the stuff that's actually here at Disney World, like the parks and stuff, it was hard. I mean, you could see things, but not very well. And, and believe it or not, like the net and stuff that's around it actually hindered the view. I kind of agree. I thought you were gonna be able to walk around and maybe you are allowed to, but like kind of everyone has to walk around too. Yeah. Um, because the, the actual walkway isn't that thick. It's like everyone kind of has to move in a circle if that's the case. I'm happy we did it because we had never done this before. We've been looking at it for years and years and years and, um, and, and we were just in it. So that's really cool. I'm very happy we did it. I'm very proud that we did it and I feel successful. I don't need to do it again. 
I'm yeah. good. <laughs> I'm good, but I'm glad we did. I enjoyed it. There's the sign. See Disney Springs from the air. Flight is not recommended to those prone to motion sickness, vertigo, heart problems, all other conditions that are aggravated by flight. So just so you know, if any of these things apply to you, it's not advisable to go on. They do sell photos. They take your photo right before you get on. They took hours and they showed it to us right when we got off. Of course, we didn't buy it. We don't need a photo. We have our own. Video. Right. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so different kinds of packages that you can get. I will say that the, um, oh, and keychains. Huh. I will, I will say the photo looked very nice. It did. But what I'll say is I'm not trying to take away any of their business by any means, but uh, let's be clear, this photo is not taken on the balloon. Oh, it's no. It's taken right before you get out. Like, like, yeah, see, they're on the dock. Yeah, they take it out on the dock. Like in front of the balloon. Yeah. And this is the uh, window where you check in. You do have to sign a waiver on an iPad. Everyone participating, or the guardian for the uh, minors participating, has to sign a waiver, take your picture, all that jazz. So I do want to point out, because I think a lot of people I have will refer to this as a hot air balloon. It's true. But technically, I guess it's considered a helium balloon. There is no, like, <sighs> I'm very glad there wasn't fire, because I feel like that would have, like, intensified, like, I don't know why, like, it's not like I have a fear of fire or anything. I, I think it would add to the stress of like, oh no, I'm gonna like fall and I'm gonna catch on fire. You made a good point that the um, return to Earth <laughs> Literally. Space Literally. Was we... much smoother, much smoother than the ascent. It's, it's true. And it was like a little bit windy today, but I mean, not extremely windy, but I mean, we were going a little bit back and forth. Yeah. Like, there definitely could be rougher days, and there definitely could be calmer days. I mean, we were like basically doing this, and you feel that floor under you. It's just like you could tell there's nothing underneath it. So yeah. It was pretty interesting. What are we doing here? <laughs> we're not at Disney Springs anymore. No, sorry, we forgot to uh, film and say goodbye when uh, when we left. We did a quick and sit before um, earlier in the day, and I'll link that video where we ate at Polite Pig. But um, we said goodbye in that one, but we didn't say goodbye in the aerophile, aerophil uh, characters in flight where we went like a million miles in the sky thing. But I didn't want to mention, because we didn't mention the prices when we were there, the regular price is $20 a person except for ages three to nine were fifteen dollars and ages two and below are free we didn't purchase it this way we purchased it via groupon and it was actually a buy one get one so maybe check that if you're thinking about doing this definitely but that was the prices at the kiosk ticket booth thing i was glad we got the groupon um yeah. you know I, it was interesting and uh glad we definitely glad we did it we've been talking about it for years now mm -hmm. um you know, price may be a bit steep. It's just so quick. It's a quick, I think, is the... Yeah, and we, we mentioned in the video that we weren't sure how long it was, but I looked it up and it said eight minutes online. And I'll put a link down below to the um, the website that takes you to the, the information on the excursion. I don't know. I just thought with it being a Disney, I thought you would be able to see more of Disney. It was actually all the Disney stuff was a lot further away. It's a pretty fast trip. You do get good views in seeing Disney Springs and seeing the the big things like Spaceship Earth you could see really well. So that was cool. It's definitely a unique experience for sure. Yeah. We hadn't done anything else like that. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out. I know because I know a lot of people ask, is it worth it? Is it worth the price? I, I would look for the the deal. How about yeah. that? That's how I'll put it. But I mean, if it's something you think you'd be interested in, then absolutely go for it. Hopefully the video gave you an idea, a pretty good idea of what you could see up there. Yeah. I know at the beginning it was a little like, this because we, yeah. we didn't know we were about to go and then he's like everyone hang on and it's just right. like whoa and i didn't have the camera strap but i think once we got up there we were able to show pretty good idea of, of what you could see yeah plus you were kind of dealing with me a little bit like <laughs> uh. terrifying it was, it was a little terrifying for me and i mean i don't think it's terrifying to the average person like i definitely don't want you to take that away like or deter you from doing it at all because if it's something you're interested in you should totally do it um but if you're someone who has a fear of heights, I hope me doing it kind of gave you an idea of how maybe you would feel about it a yeah. little bit. I feel very successful that we did it because I'm sure that won't be the last time that we're on some kind of flying balloon. So, um, is that a hint? 
Mm, maybe a little. What could that be? <laughs> I don't know. Eyes peeled in May. That's all we'll say. It's gonna be a perfect day. Oh. What? That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. It was entertaining for you and informative. That's what we strive for in all of our videos. Mm -hmm. And as always, if you'd like to talk to us about anything, leave a comment down below. Or if you'd like help planning your own Walt Disney World vacation travel, we're your travel expert agents. We'd love to help with that. Any of our travel agent information that's listed at the end of all of our videos, you can check our YouTube channel for our social media as well. Otherwise, we hope you've enjoyed this trip up, up and away into the sky. Yeah. <laughs> and until next time, we'll say happy, happy travels. travels.